Field and Stream salutes all the sponsors for the 2009 Total Outdoorsman Challenge. Welcome back to the big finish of the 2009 Field and Stream Total Outdoorsman Challenge presented by Mobile One. Everything it takes to be a total outdoorsman is right here, right now. Let me walk you through the course. Competitors start the endurance challenge by shooting a teal from a layout blind, followed by hanging a climbing tree stand and hauling the equivalent of a deer's weight 100 yards. Next, they must calm their nerves. Competitors get up to two arrows to try to hit a tiny green bullseye on a 3D javelina. Make one of the shots and it's worth 10 seconds subtracted from their overall time. Finally, the competitors must build a fire reaching to a certain height and jump in a kayak for a mad dash to the finish. Up next is Randy Hendricks, currently in sixth place. He's squaring off against three-time champion Paul Thompson. Paul currently stands in fifth place, so it will take a Herculean effort for him to defend his championship. Thompson and Randy Hendricks are scrambling out of their layout blinds. Three-time Total Outdoorsman Challenger finalist. Paul Thompson has been through this before. He's really been struggling with back problems all summer long. Now it's on to the dead sled. All they have to do is touch that ATV, and then it is a blast to the Havelina. Paul Thompson sprinting from the ATV on his way down to the Havelina Challenge with the bow. Let's see if he can uphold his lead on Randy Hendricks. Randy is a heck of a shot with the bow if he can just get there in time. Thompson taking his first shot, and Thompson hit the green dot. That is going to give him a 10-second lead. Randy Hendricks, it is a hit. Paul has got his tender flaming fast. It took him no time flat. Go, Randy. Paul Thompson knows it is now or never. Paul Thompson is pushing it all the way past the finish line. Paul Thompson needed a big performance here, and that's exactly what he got. A time of 2.13 will be an extremely tough mark to beat. Up next are Justin Brown and John Sappington. Currently in third place, Sappington will have to run the race of his life in order to catch Boatwright. Justin Brown and John Sappington, they've got a hefty challenge right now to try to beat the best time of 2.13. <laughs> It's a dead sprint between the two of them over to the tree stands. John Sabigan takes a little bit of a quick lead. He gets that bottom part of the climbing tree stand up, and he is off. He is in the lead on the dead sled. Number three, John Sabigan, pulling ahead of number four, Justin Brown. Sappington is making his way over to the bow challenge right now. And Sappington, it is a hit on the green dot. Justin Brown missed his first shot on the javelina. And Justin Brown is drawn back for his second shot. It is also a miss. John Sappington is going with a pine needle. He's off to the kayaks. Got a lot of vertical structure. It really worked earlier. He's going. They're three, they're four, and it is close, close, close at the kayak race. Oh, it's tight. It is neck and neck. The young man is making up time. Is Justin Brown going to make it up? John Sappington's excellent time of 224 will keep him in the hunt for the championship. With only Tom Boatwright and Chris Reed left to run, it's shaping up to be a thrilling finish. The winner of the Endurance Challenge will get their hands on a Field & Stream Special Edition Vado Pocket Cam, available only at fieldandstream.com.